In this video, we are going to discuss about what is Hussey diagram as well as the procedure or steps to construct the Hussey diagram and we will see an example uh, to construct the Hussey diagram by following all these six steps. In the next video, without following these steps, uh, I will try to explain 15 examples. Uh, I will share that video link in the description as well as I will ping the comment. So please refer that video for uh, better understanding on the Hussey diagrams. First let us see what is Hussey diagram. So before Hussey diagram, we have a relation called partial ordering relation. Partial ordering relation. Hussey diagram comes under relation topic in discrete mathematics subject. Partial ordering relation means a relation which is reflexive, anti-symmetric, anti-symmetric and transitive. So if a relation is reflexive, anti-symmetric and transitive, then we can call that relation as partial ordering relation. If the relation is a partial ordering relation, then we can call that set e as partial ordering set denoted by, uh, in short, we can call it as poset. So, if the relation is partial ordering relation, then the corresponding set is called as partial ordering set. In short, we can call it as poset. Poset is denoted by a pair. Here the first argument is set name, the second argument is that relation. It may be less than or less than or equal to or greater than, greater than or equal to or division, any relation. So that is about what is partial ordering relation and what is partial ordering set poset. Now let us see the advantage of the Hussey diagram. Hussey diagram is the pictorial representation of the poset. So Hussey diagram is nothing but the pictorial or the graphical or the diagrammatic representation of the poset. Now let us see the procedure or steps in order to construct the Hussey diagram. Here totally we have to follow six steps. Step 1, draw digraph for the poset. So digraph means directed graph. So directed graph means the graph contains edges, the edges contain the directions, arrows. So first we have to construct the graph with directions. Second step is remove self loops. So we have to remove the self loops. So let me have a self loop like this. So here the source vertex is one, destination vertex is also one. So this is called as the self loop. So we need to remove the self loops. Hussey diagram does not contain self loops. Third step, remove transitive edges. So what is a transitive edge? Let we have an edge from 1 to 2, 2 to 3. Then Hussey diagram does not contain any transitive edge. So transitive edge means A implies B, B implies C means A implies C. So 1 implies 2, so 1 implies 2. So from 1 to 2 we have an edge. Next to 2 implies 3. So from 2 to 3 we have an edge. So Hussey diagram does not contain any transitive edges. So that means from 1, 2, 3, we should not have any edge. So that is the third point. Hussey diagram does not contain the transitive edges. So we need to remove the transitive edges also. Okay. So here there is no edge from 1, 2, 3. Why? Because if we establish this edge, then this edge will become the transitive edge. But Hussey diagram does not contain the transitive edge. Next fourth step is arrange all the edges in upwards. Arrange all the edges in upwards. So let we have three, let we have two edges like this. Now we have to arrange like this. So from 1 to 2, we have an edge. Next to from 2 to 3, we have an edge. So in the C diagram, we have edges only from top to bottom. Top to bottom. I am sorry, from bottom to top. A C diagram contains the edges only from bottom to top. So yet we need to arrange all the edges in upwards, left to the right or right to right or left to to right or right to left. We should not have any edges. 
we have edges only from bottom to top so edges are always in upwards direction next two step is remove all the arrow heads so here a c diagram doesn't contain any arrows so we need to remove these arrows so we have only some lines we don't have any arrows and the last step is each vertex is represented by dot so instead of one we have to use dot if we want we can give the numbering beside it may be one or a or any numbering okay a c diagram is represented by a dot so by following all these six steps we need to construct the a c diagram so now let's see an example by demonstrating all these six steps let's see this example draw the a c diagram for the divisibility relation so here the relation is division symbol defined on the set a equal to 2 3 6 12 24 36 36 so here the elements of the set are 2 3 6 12 24 36 36 now first directly construct the hasi diagram what is the first element 2 is the first element in the hasi diagram each element is represented by dot so this element is nothing but 2 next element is 3 2 doesn't divides 3 so there is no edge from 2 to 3 suppose if 2 divides 3 then there is an edge from 2 to 3 but here 2 doesn't divides 3 so there is no edge from 2 to 3 next element is 6 so compare 2 with 6 2 divides 6 as well as 3 divides 6 so there is an edge from 2 to 6 because 2 divides 6 as well as there is an edge from 3 to 6 why because there is a, there, there is a, why because the 3 divides 6 so there there is an edge between 3 to 6 <coughs> so this dot represents 6 2 to divide 6 so there is an edge between 2 to 6 3 divide 6 so there is an edge between 3 to 6 next element is 12 6 वाइड्स 12 so there is an edge between 6 to 12 6 to 12 2 डिवाइड्स 12 but we can't establish the edge between 2 to 12 why because this edge is transitive edge here we have an edge between 2 to 6 as well as we have an edge between 6 to 12 So what is the transitive edge? Two to twelve. Hasi diagram doesn't <coughs> contain transitive edge, so that's why there is no edge between two to twelve as well as three to twelve. Next element is twenty-four. Twelve divides twenty-four. Next element is thirty-six. Twelve divides thirty-six. So there is an edge between twelve to twelve to twenty-four as well as twelve to thirty-six. So this element is nothing but twenty-four. this element is nothing but 34 there is an edge between 12 to 24 as well as 12 to 36 6 also divides 24 but there is no edge from 6 to 24 why because if we establish the edge then it will become the transitive edge 6 to 12 12 to 24 that means transitive edge is 6 to 24 hasi diagram doesn't contain the transitive edge so this is the hasi diagram for this problem but actually in order to construct this hc diagram we need to follow these uh, six steps in the examination directly you can construct the hc diagram in the examination it is better to construct the hc diagram first and later depends upon the mark mocks follow these six steps so this is nothing but backward approach so first we are writing the solution and then we are writing the steps so step 1 is constructing the digraph step 2 is remove the self loops step 3 is remove the transitive edges step 4 is arrange all the edges in upward direction step 5 is remove the arrows step 6 is replace the vertex with dot each vertex is represented by dot in place of circle use dot okay so step 1 yeah first we need to construct the relation here what is the relation uh, divisibility is the relation we know that 2 doesn't divides 3 2 divides 6 2 divides 12 2 divides 24 2 divides 36 so with 2 we have pairs like 2 2 2 6 2 12 2 24 2 36 next 3 divides 3 3 divides 
3 divides 12, 24, 36. So with 3, the ordered pairs are 3, 3, 3, 6, 3, 12, 3, 24, 3, 36. Next one is 6. 6 divides 6, 6 divides 12, 24, 36. So 6, 6, 6, 12, 6, 24, 6, 36. Next one is 12. 12 divides 12, 24, 36. So 12, 12, 12, 24, 12, 36. Next one is 24. 24 divides 24, but 24 can't divide 36. So 24, 24 we have in it. Next 36 divides 36. So 36 to 36 we have in it. So first we need to establish the relation. We know about relation. Relation means a collection of ordered pairs. First step is construct the direct graph. Digraph. So digraph means we know about graph. It is a collection of vertex as well as we have edges between the vertices of the graph. This is digraph. So every edge contains some direction. Yaro. So 2, 2, 2, 6, 2, 12, 2, 24, 2, 36. So 2, 2 is nothing but self loop. So this is 2, 6. This is 2, 12. This is 2, 24. And this is 2, 36. Next with 3, we have 3, 3, 3, 6, 3, 12, 3, 24, 3, 36. So 3, 2, 3, we have an edge. Next, 3, 2, 6, we have an edge. Next to 3, 2, 12, we have an edge. Next to 3, 2, 24, we have an edge. Next to 3, 2, 3, 2, 36, we have an edge. Next, 6, 2, 6, 6, 2, 12, 6, 2, 24, 6, 2, 36. So 6, 2, 6, next to 6, 2, 12, 6, 2, 24, 6, 2, 36. Next, 12. So 12, 2, 12, 12, 2, 24, 12, 2, 36. Next to 24, only self loop. 36, only self loop. Next step is remove the self loops. So for space constraints, uh, I am not writing diagram here. So here, what are the self loops? You need to draw the diagram in the examination. If the question is given for more marks. So 2, 2, 2. There is no self loop. So we need to eliminate these self loops. So 12, 12, 6, 6, 24, 24, 36, 36. And step 3 is remove the transitive edges. Already we have drawn the Hasse diagram. So from 2 to 6 only, we have an edge. So, we, so now the transitive edges are nothing but 2 to 12, 2 to 24, 2 to 36. So we need to eliminate those three edges. So for that here we are writing the ordered page. So 2 to 6 we have an edge. 6 to 12 we have an edge. 2 to 6, 6 to 12. So that means what is the new edge? 2 to 12. We need to remove that edge. Okay. As well as next one is 2 to 24. So 2 to 6 we have an edge. 6 to 24 we have an edge. So this edge has to be removed. So 2 to 6 and 6 to 24. We need to remove this edge. 2 to 24. Next one is 2 to 36. We need to remove this edge also. So 2 to 12 we have an edge, 12 to 36 we have an edge. So we have to remove 2 to 36 also. So now the Hasse diagram contains only one edge. So what is that edge? What is that edge? From 2 to 6. So this is 2. So this is 2. Let us construct as per the diagram. So this is 2 and this is 6. So from 2 to 6 we have an edge. Next, Hasse, in Hasse diagram we have an edge only from 3 to 6. So now that means the transitive edges are 3 to 12, 3 to 24, 3 to 36. So we remove, we have to remove those edges. First let us try to remove 3 to 12. So here we have an edge between 3 to 6 as well as from 6 to 12. 3 to 6 and 6 to 12. So that means the transitive edge is 3 to 12. So remove this edge. 3 to 12. 3 to 12. Remove this edge. Next we need to remove 3 to 24. So that means here... 3 to 12 we have an edge as well as 12 to 24 we have an edge. 3 to 12 we have an edge as well as 12 to 24 we have an edge. So the transitive edge is 3 to 36. I am sorry, 3 to 24. So remove this edge. 3 to 24, remove this edge. Next, this edge is also transitive edge. So 3 to 12 we have an edge. 3 to 12 we have an edge. And 12 to 36 we have an edge. So the transitive edge is 3 to 36. So remove this edge. So now instead of 4 edges, we have only 1 edge. That is from 3 to 6. So 3 to 12, we need to eliminate. 3 to 24, we need to eliminate. 3 to, that is 3 to 36 also, we need to eliminate. So here we have 3. So 3 to 6 only, we have an edge. Next, let us focus on 6. So from 6 to 12, we have an edge. Hasse diagram contains only from 6 to 12. So 6 to 24, 6 to 36 are transitive edges. So let us remove those 2 edges. So 6 to 12. So if you see here, uh, 6, to, 6 to 12. We need, we, 
6 to 12. Yeah, 6 to 12 is nothing but it is not a uh, transitive edge. Here the trans 6 to 12 is nothing but a direct edge. So that is not a transitive edge. So 6 to 24, it is a transitive edge. As well as 6 to 36, it is a transitive edge. 6 to 12 is not a transitive edge. Okay. So 6 to 12 is not a transitive edge. So 6 to 24. So 6 to 24 means we can go from 6 to 24 means we can go from 6 to 12 as well as we can go from 12 to 24. So 6 to 12 and 6 to 24. So the new edge is 6 to 24. So we need to remove this edge. As well as this is also trans to edge. 6 to 12 we have an edge. 12 to 36 we have an edge. So 6 to 36 is also trans to edge. So now instead of 6 to 12, uh, instead of 6 to 24, 6 to 36 we have only one edge. Instead of 6 to 12, 6 to 24, 36 we have only one edge. That is between 6 to 12. 6 to 12. So here we have 12. 6 to 12. Next, if we, if we focus on 12, so what are the edges of 12? So 12 to 24 as well as 12 to 36. These two edges are normal edges only. These two are not trans to edges. Not trans to edges. 12 to 24. It is a direct edge only. There is no trans to edge. So 12 to 24 we have an edge. Where we have 24? Here we have 24. So 12 to 24 we have an edge. As well as 12 to 36, we have an edge. 12 to 36, we have an edge. So this is a normal edge only. Okay, it is not a trans to edge. So after removing the trans to edges, this is the graph. Next, what is step four? Arrange all the edges in upwards, upwards, upwards. So we have to uh, write the vertices from bottom to top. So what is the first vertex? Two. Second one is three. 3. From 2 to 3, there is no edge. Why? Because 2 can't divide 3. Next, 6. 6 upwards. So, 2 to 6, we have an edge. 3 to 6, we have an edge. Next, 6 to 12. 6 to 12, we have an edge. Next, to 12 to 24, we have an edge. Next, to 12 to 36, we have an edge. So, this is nothing but step 4. Remove all the edges in upwards. Next, step 5 is remove arrow edge. So we have to remove these heads. We have to remove these heads. Step 6 is represent each vertex by dot. So like this, represent each vertex by dot and write that uh, uh, notation. It may be a number or a, 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 an alphabet, it depends upon the problem. Beside that, okay. So by following these steps, we need to, dry, we need to draw the Hussey diagram. But generally we will draw the diagram first and depends upon the number of marks. Uh, we have to write all the steps. Uh, so this is about uh, Hussey diagram. In the next video, we will discuss uh, uh, totally 15 examples on how to construct the Hussey diagram. I will share that video link in the description as well as uh, in the first comment, I will ping that. I will ping that video link. So please refer that. Please subscribe to the channel as well as uh, share the channel with your friends as well as like the video. Thanks for watching.